Hey guys, Hardcore Harry here. It's time for another serious video. So there's a lot going on lately, and uh, this I kind of want to elaborate more on the a little more what I was talking about in the uh, Hardcore Harry versus Just Harry video. If you're watching that, it's kind of an odd place with YouTube right now. I know it's you know this is normally a video that somebody has millions of subscribers years and years after they've done it makes, but in this case. It's something that I feel like making. Uh, it's just what I feel like talking about. So I'm going to start doing more things like this where if I feel like talking about something, I'm going to talk about it. So anyway, I've been thinking a lot. It's kind of hard. So I'm trying to put it into words because it's, it's all up here in my head and, and I, I know what I'm talking about, but I'm trying to put it into words that you, know, you guys will understand and, and get because... In my head, it will make no sense if I try explaining it as is. So, um, I was watching some videos like that, and I reference Markiplier a lot, but he's a pretty big inspiration on why I finally started doing this. Um, but there's a video he was reading uh, fan comments, and one of them was uh, asking about you know what he does about self doubts if he has any and basically said and I'll leave a link in the description because it's the whole video is good but I really like that part like it kind of it rang true with me it um he said well no you really can't have self self doubts he doesn't have self doubts and like I've had doubts about this and he put it in a way that makes me realize like yeah there's really no reason to he basically said he had no doubts and has no doubts because he's not sure what he's capable of. Until he does it, he doesn't know if he can do it or not. So what's there to doubt? And that's true. And it's kind of like when I put content out here. I, and I think to myself, like, is this going to work? Is this going to work? And I think that's been a wrong way of doing it. Um, another thing is I've been watching a lot of... Uh, YouTubers, and I've noticed the bigger ones um, from some videos I've watched is they never went into this as a career. They went into this just to see what happened. They kind of did it for fun. And, you know, I started thinking, I'm like, well, am I doomed to fail then? Because right off the bat, I'm going into it thinking career. Like when I was younger and I thought about doing it, it was just for fun. And now I'm like, well, I want to do a career out of it. But whereas I'd like it to turn into that, I kind of. I'm kind of caught in between this this weird phase of obviously I want it to be a career and I know that in my mind so I can't just be like oh I don't want it to be a career because I know it's, it's a lie I know that I want it to be a career so I'm caught between treating it as a career and treating it as fun um, I need to treat it more as fun and less as a career I need to do just what I want to do. I, I worry a lot about, okay, well, and not, not all the time because I'll post stuff that I know isn't probably isn't going to get over, but um, I need to worry more about posting things I like. Like I'm thinking about going back and doing some older retro games that kind of shaped me, you know? Um, so I, I've thought about going back and, doing, and playing some of those. They might not get that many views, but eventually they will. And when people start watching, they're going to see those videos and those are going to be the better videos because... I really, really want to do them. Not that I do videos I don't want to do, but I honestly go into it sometimes with a thought of, oh, will this get over? And I can't do that. Like, I know I know that I want it to be a career, so I kind of have to treat it as a career to some point, but if I treat it too much as a career, it's not fun, and then I'm just stuck in another job I don't like. And that's not what YouTube should be. And I'm not going to get over if I'm not having fun, so... I need to do more things that I like. Um, I don't want to go too much on here because I, I actually have a video clip I'm going to show you guys. Um, I just kind of want to preface this a little bit. Um, it's just, like I said, I'm trapped in a weird place of career and fun, and I need to focus more on fun. Like I said, I, a lot of YouTubers went into it not thinking of it as a career. They thought of it as, um, well, let's do this and have some fun whatever happens happens and I think I need to take more of that approach to it I need to stop worrying about what might not get over well and just do me you know 
do what makes me me. I think I'm pretty amusing. I don't know. I'm biased, but I think I'm pretty amusing, and I've had other people tell me that I'm amusing. So, I mean, they might be lying just to, you know, be nice, but I don't think. I think I'm fairly amusing. Um, so, I got to focus more on doing things that I want to do, and you're going to see a lot more of that. Um, ghost hunting, paranormal investigating, that's something I'm big into. That's something I've wanted to do on YouTube, too. And I, I'm going to start on that soon. Urban exploring something I, I've never actually gotten into, but I want to get into it. So that's something I'd like to do for YouTube. Um, it's just, you know, thinking what I'm passionate about. And Erica's won over this with me, too. Like, she's brought it up just... You know, and I've watched videos, like I said, from other YouTubers, but it's, you know, what am I passionate about? If YouTube was out of the equation, what would I want to do? And I, don't, I actually don't fully know the answer, but whatever the answer is, that's what I do on YouTube. YouTube's an avenue to do something. That's another thing I learned from Mark, uh, Mark Blyer, was it's an avenue. It's something you can use, you know. YouTube, you're not doing YouTube. YouTube isn't the career. What you do on YouTube is the career. YouTube is the avenue for that career. And I need to focus more on that. So uh, movies, another thing I'm passionate about. I want to do more movie reviews, maybe. Um, some retro ones. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'm going to get into the next part of this. So I'm going to show you guys a video clip. It's like a three minute long clip, but honestly, it's it's very good. Um, a lot of times, and I think a lot of people, you know, look for inspiring quotes and, and ways to live their lives and whatever. But like everything I've read and you know everything I read, there's little bits and pieces, you know, in all of it that I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I like. But I never really found anything that's exactly it. I think that's because the other day I was thinking, uh, I think that's because it's more along the lines of. I need to create it myself, and I can. That's something I can do with YouTube too. I need to put my own way of, of thinking out there, um, and use it for myself and show it to others too. Um, and in saying, and it's still true, but in saying this, you know, the next day, I uh, was mowing the lawn. I usually listen to, you know, Pandora while I'm mowing the lawn. I've been listening to the Childish Gambino station a lot, and uh, Logic, who I hadn't previously heard of until recently. He's a very good rapper. Very, very good. And I recommend checking him out because he's very good. But he's on the, the channel a lot. Um, and one of the songs that came on was The Incredible True Story. I'm listening to it. Really good song. And then near the end, this quote comes on. And it's, you know, it's going on. I'm like, what is this from a movie or something? But it's like really good. And like everything it's saying, I'm like, wow. This is freaking smart. Like, this is basically what I've been saying since I was younger and I never heard anybody else really say it like this and it was awesome so turns out it's a quote from Alan Watts um, I hadn't previously heard of but he uh, he has a lot of stuff like that and I haven't watched anything but this one clip yet but I plan on getting more into it but I'm gonna play it for you guys because it it kind of speaks to me and you know, hopefully it speaks to you and Forgive me for my posture here a little bit. I'm in a uncomfortable lower sitting chair. My little kitty Eddie stole my computer chair. And uh, usually when one of the cats takes my chair, I think it's their chair until they get off of it. Um, so actually Gwenny was on it and then I grabbed some treats and coaxed her off and gave them each some treats. And then right after I went to grab my chair and Eddie jumped up on it. So. I lost the chair, whatever. I'll take this chair and be uncomfortable for a little bit. Anyway, let's get into the clip, and then I got a little more for you guys after. But makes you itch what sort of a situation would you like let's suppose 
Now, I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we haven't the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing. As a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I say, do you want to teach in a riding school? Uh, let's go through with it. What do you want to do? When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something, to be really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. So uh, don't, don't worry too much, uh, that's, uh, everybody's, uh, somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others in. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like and to teach your children to follow in the same track. See, what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating them to live the same sort of lives we're living in order that they may justify themselves and find satisfaction in life by bringing up their children to bring up their children to do the same thing, so it's all wretch and no vomit. It never gets there. And so, therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? So yeah, that right there uh, has made more sense to me than a lot of, you know, the inspirational quotes and sayings and stories and videos pretty much ever have it's, it made sense it just ma it makes a lot of sense and it's not money's needed unfortunately it and I'm guilty of buying a, as you can see a lot of things that I probably don't need that I just want and I spend a lot of money and I work a lot to get that money but it's a question that is more meant to make you think The money isn't what's important. And I know, you know, someone with five kids struggling to make it by says, well, yeah, money's pretty freaking important, but it's what it's made. It's to make you think, what do you want to do? What do you desire doing? What are you passionate about? Because there's a market out there for everything. Like you said, you know, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles. I can make videos about those all day. Video games, you know, people like Markiplier, like Jacksepticeye, like PewDiePie have made a living off of playing video games and others, you know. There's a market out there for all of it. If there's something that you're interested in, I guarantee you there's someone else out there that's just as interested in it, if not more so. So the the video, it's made to make you think, you know, that what he was talking about is to make you think, what do you want to do? And like with you, you want to be outdoors, you want to ride horses, so do you want to teach riding? Do you want to be a riding school instructor? It's an idea of what you can do with your passion. It's what you can do with your passion to make money. And it's, the money isn't what's important, it's the living you make. It's what's important. Now my job, I'm a 911 dispatcher. It's a very fulfilling job. I don't know if it's something I want to make a career out of, though. It's good for now, and it, it wouldn't be the worst career in the world, but it's not what I'm passionate about. 
this is what I'm passionate about. Doing something on this, doing something that others can see and you know, people with similar interests can watch and people even with different interests and they're like, oh wow, that's pretty interesting. Can watch and say, wow, that's something. And that's why I need to do more of what I want to do, not what I think we'll get over. Because like he said, like Alan Watts said, there's a market out there for everything. If I can pull my weirdo self out, and I do sometimes, I can't always do it still. I don't know why, and I'm working on it. But if I can pull that out, I think and along that similar topic... I think part of it is that I'm not fully doing everything I'm passionate about. Like, I like video games a lot, and I'm going to keep playing them because there's a lot of games that I want to play, but I'm not necessarily playing all the ones that I'm passionate about. Even Friday the 13th, I love Friday the 13th, the game and the entire movie series. I love slasher movies, but, like, I'm a little quiet during the game, and it's because I haven't played a lot of it yet, you know? I'm not passionate about it yet because I haven't played a whole lot of it. Um, I think if I pull out some of the games from my past, uh, a lot of them like the uh, games made on the Scum Engine, like Maniac Mansion Day, The Tentacle, um, Monkey Island, those type of games, the Point and Click Adventures, I think you'll see more uh, of the silly side of me that might actually you know, give me some more excitement coming across on the camera, stuff like that, you know. So I'm going to do what I want to do. From now on in everything. And it's not always going to be like that. Because I need money. I'm not saying, oh, well, I'm going to quit my job. Because I'm not going to do that. I need money. And I'm going to work probably 44 hours this weekend again. Just like I have been. But I'm not going to let that get me down. I'm not going to let that defeat me. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. And I'm going to use that money that I made. You know, for responsible things. But also for things that I'm passionate about. I'm going to use it to pursue this. And to pursue the things that I want to do. Because that's, that's what money's good for. Money right now, unfortunately, is a necessary evil, but money is something that in itself is not evil. What you use it for could be evil, but if you use money for things you're passionate about and to improve yourself and others around you, then money is not evil. Money can be good. So, like I said, I'm going to start doing what I want to do. On here and in general, and I challenge you guys to do the same thing. Anything. Anything you want to do. You do it and don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Because you can. And I don't care who you are. I believe in you. And others believe in you. And you should believe in you too. You want to be a Pokemon trainer? Be a Pokemon trainer. I want to be a Pokemon trainer. So maybe I'll start recording Pokemon Go. That'd be pretty fun for YouTube. You want to be a Power Ranger? Be a Power Ranger. I want to be a Power Ranger. So maybe I need to start recording more Power Ranger videos. Wrestling? I've always wanted to be a wrestler. And there's nothing I ever really truly followed like I could have. Um, and a lot of my early ideas for YouTube stuff was wrestling related. Um, I'm going to do more with that. Why not? Uh, Unfortunately, I haven't got to watch wrestling as much as I'd like to, but that's nothing with work and, you know, just th things in general getting in the way of that, you know, and wanting to do this when you're recording content, so I don't watch wrestling as much. I still follow it, but I don't watch it as much, so I'm going to start making a conscious effort to pick one or two days of the week, worst case scenario, sit down, Raw, SmackDown, Impact, Ring of Honor, fast forward if I need to, fast forward to the stuff I want to see skip the rest I'm going to start getting more into New Japan and, and following that stuff because um, why not wrestling is something I've always been passionate about so why not do and that's another thing Erica kind of was talking to me about she's like you've always loved wrestling why don't you do more wrestling stuff and like early on I kind of didn't want to pigeonhole myself in a Chris Jericho shirt but early on I didn't want to pigeonhole myself in wrestling because it's not all I wanted to do but it's a strength and it's a passion so why not do it not pigeonholing myself doesn't mean I can't do it 
I'm gonna post what I want to post. I'm gonna do what I want to do. So I might get a little rambly sometimes like this, and I don't care because it's me, and that's what I want to start showing more. And I haven't always done it, so I had a whole lot of things planned. Uh, I know I say it all the time, but I, re I really do have a whole lot of things planned. I have a list on my phone of uh, things I want to do, skits, games I want to play. That's another thing. I want to start doing some more games. I want to keep. I still am going to finish Kindergarten, I promise. I'm going to finish Kindergarten at least one ending. Um, but, you know, I want to keep playing Friday the 13th. But I also want to start playing some older games, you know? Different generations of games. Games that I played and loved. Games that I never got to play. Or, you know, games that haven't come out yet. Like, newer games that haven't come out that I'm going to play, you know? Brand new along with you guys, so... Stay tuned for that, because I got, I got a lot of stuff. Not just games, but I do have a lot of games planned, so... The next step is finding time for it. But... And this isn't saying... When it, and I'm not saying to you guys to do this, but... I'm going to focus a lot more on this kind of stuff. And, and you know, what's important. And, and as opposed to worrying about my job all the time, I'm going to worry about... The stuff that's important. Like I said, that's not saying that I'm not going to worry about my job. Because if I lost my job tomorrow, I'd be pretty distraught and I'd have no idea what the hell I'm doing. But just saying, you know, in general, I'm going to start worrying a lot more about the things that really matter. Jobs are always out there. Money's always out there. Experiences, loved ones, pets. They fall under loved ones, but, you know... Um, things like that those are the things that aren't always going to be there so you enjoy them while you can and there will always be another job there will always be more money anyway I'm going to stop rambling hope you guys enjoyed it hope you enjoyed me rambling and don't just have a great day have a hardcore